So again, we have another pretzel. Uh, I think this is the Alti and this is the Innie, uh, just like we have on Lion, but it's a bit more extreme. Here it is up close. And you can see this folded over kind of fiber that Matsumoto observed on many experiments here. And uh, there is uh, also over here some uh, very glassy-like substance here, kind of spiraling down. So we had a look at those, and the first was the um, sample uh, that was uh, spiraling, and uh, we've got that here. And um, if you look at the composition, uh, that has a high com composition of uh, calcium. This is atomic percent, but if we go by weight percent, obviously calcium is weighs more, so 12% calcium. But we've also got potassium, uh, phosphorus, silicon, so on. But a little bit of copper left in this, and 40% carbon, verging on 41%. So uh, that is uh, this spectrum 14, that kind of glassy area that I was referring to here. Okay, that glassy area. So you can see its spectrum there. But spectrum 15 is this kind of Matsumoto. Um, uh, folded sort of carbon material and uh, you can see it's coming over here and this would be the central center of the um, uh, magnetic um, flux tube and if you look at this it's 82 percent carbon and uh and we're on weight percent so if i go to atomic percent it's 90 percent carbon so matsumoto well done you are right but we've also got sodium phosphorus sulfur um, uh, chlorine and calcium again and almost, this is below the detection threshold here, 0.52 there's almost no copper in this at all, 